commentary remix. Hello, friend. This is Timothy Kim O'Brien, your head instigator for Create Art Podcast, where I take my over 30 years of experience in the arts and education world to help you tame your inner critic and create more than you consume. So at the time that I'm recording this, it's December 31st of 2023. So maybe by the time you listen to it, um, it's going to be 2024. So technically, this is the last episode of 2023. But you know what? It's my podcast. So we can go on. Um, Back in 2022, during the holiday season, my wife gave me a deck of cards uh, called uh, Kickstart Creativity by Bonnie Smith Winehouse. And links for that are in the show notes. But when I got these cards, I was like, wait a minute, why are you getting me these cards? You know, I'm the, uh, you know, the head instigator for a art podcast. Why would I need these cards? Well, let me tell you, there, there's 50 cards. Uh, they're broken up into uh, three different uh, categories, uh, perspective, inspiration, and uh, action cards. Throughout 2023, uh, every week, I've brought you one of these cards and what they do is they give you an idea, a, a term that a lot of times we use without really thinking what it means. And, you know, it gives you a couple of ideas to think about, gives you, gives you a couple of challenges. And uh, it really has pushed me this year uh, to think about uh, everything that we talk about in the art world, um, in the academic world, all that stuff. And how we can make it easier for folks that are just starting off with our artistic journey to understand what we're talking about. So today we've got remix and the cards. If you're watching me on YouTube, you're going to see me holding up the cards and whatnot. Uh, if you're just listening, you should really get to my YouTube page. Uh, but uh, there's a couple of parts to the card uh, on the back side. It's kind of a little 70s uh, design thing right there. But it also has what I like to call the kernel of knowledge. It's just like one sentence on uh, what the card is about. So um, the kernel of remix is uh, celebrate other creative spirits by remixing their work in different contexts. And that. Okay, so I remember growing up when I was a kid, and uh, that was the early days of hip hop. You know, I've just turned fifty-one. Hip hop just celebrated fifty years, and um, you know they do turntables and mix in uh, different music together, and come up with something completely different and you know wonderful to dance to and have a good time with. So when I saw this card pop up, I'm like, oh, wow. Okay, cool. We're going to, you know, mix things together. Going to get a little bit messy, which hey, I'm all for. You know, let's get messy with it. Uh, but when we think about folks that have inspired us and then taking their work and mixing it up with other people that have inspired us to come out with something completely different, there we go. We're the, the old phrase of, you know, there's nothing new under the sun. You, Yes, technically true, but through your eyes, through your hands, through your imagination, it's a brand new thing, it, you know, especially if you're mixing two things together that um, would not have normally gone together. So I think it's a great way to, you know, just uh, take stuff that you already know that you already like and put a different spin on it. Why not? So uh, we're going to go with Cambridge Dictionary. I like to get good definitions uh, when we're uh, talking about uh, things. And the best way to do it is go back to the dictionary. So Cambridge tells us that uh, Remix is to uh, use a machine or computer to change or improve the different parts of an existing music uh, recording to make a new recording. And yeah, okay, I, we're talking strictly music here. But you could do it with paintings, you could do it with words, you could do it with stories, um, you can do it with uh, recipes, and dance, you know, I mix two styles together. So what we're doing is we're taking two things, you know, these things are not like each other, and 
putting them together and seeing what we can get out of it. I think that's a great thing. You know, it, it gives us a brand new thing to look at or listen to or taste whatever your artistic practice. So uh, on the back of the cards, um, it gives you about a, you know, a little paragraph or so uh, to think about. So let's see what it says here. Uh, young artists are often trained to create copies of works by the masters. For example, an apprentice painter may painstakingly imitate the brushstrokes of a genius like Vincent van Gogh so that as the years go by, he can integrate what he's learned from Van Gogh into his own body of work. By sipping, uh, by tipping the hat to those who have uh, preceded us, remix culture uh, appropriates and celebrates the work of others through uh, imitation and transformation. So yeah, you are, you know, in a sense, copying the work, but then you're putting it in a different light. You're putting it in your own light. So, you know, what I may choose to do with, uh, with with two artists may not be the same thing that you choose to do. You know, normally I am more of a writing type person. Um, yes, I do. You know, if you're looking at my uh, in my background here, which is my office, I do uh, I do some paintings and and whatnot. But um, my main thing is writing, then probably music, and then painting and, and drawing. So I'm always looking for things to uh merge together uh what so one of the things that i'm thinking about working on and got inspired by this card is um two of my uh favorite two of my favorite recording artists i guess you would call them are uh, ken nordine and joe frank and i would love to take snippets from them mash them together and see what I can pull off, you know, including some of my own stuff. So, you know, these are the, you know, this card came in perfect time because I was like, yeah, hey, what am I going to do? What do I want to do? That's something that I can do. And I can do it through video. I can do it through uh, just audio. Um, I can do it through words, you know, just the written word. Your, your only limitation is your imagination. So think about that for yourself. There's three challenges uh, with uh, Remix here. Uh, the first challenge is make use of the internet, which we all do. Uh, the ultimate remix machine. To find lines from uh, speeches, digital stories, or videos you'd like to use as launching points for your own work. And for me, I would like to, uh, and I'm going to in 2024, uh, do something with that idea of, you know, uh, Joe Frank and Ken Nordine and you know, honoring their work and honoring their inspiration towards me for doing some of the work that I've done in the past with, uh, with, uh, audio recordings. So yeah, do that for yourself. I'd look around, uh, you know, your, your library, look around your, uh, resources and your local, you know, museums and whatnot to see if you're inspired by somebody and then copy it down and remix it into something else. Why not? It's yours. If you need validation for that, I'm giving it to you right now. If you need permission for it, I'm giving that to you right now. Uh, the next one is Kirby Ferguson has simply defined remixes, copying, transforming, and then combining alone or in a meeting with others. Uh, and then he has uh, show, you know, a couple of uh, films for on remix for inspiration there for you. I do have those linked in the show notes there for you. If you would like to go ahead and look at those, I looked at them. I thought they were pretty good. Um, diff, you know, some people, you know, get off on the idea of, oh, well, but you're copying. Are you taking somebody else's work? Okay. Yeah. And then you're making it into your own. Why not? We do this all the time. Think about the clothes that you wear. You know, the uh, original designer designed it a certain way to go with a certain color. But let's say you're, you know, mixing it up into something that they hadn't even thought of before. What's wrong with that? Uh, the last challenge is identify three creative spirits uh, whose work you admire. Uh, can you compose an uh, instant remix of their work? Well, for me, um, I've got two of the two of the three. So maybe uh, I throw in some uh, Coltrane, John Coltrane, uh, for to provide the musical score for the work that I do with um, uh, Ken Nordine and 
uh, Joe Frank. Why not? I need to get working on that. <laughs> but that's my idea. That's what I'd like to do uh, with this card. I'm definitely interested in hearing what you would like to do with it. So a couple of points I want you to consider. Um, when we do a remix, we're unlocking inspirations. We're reinterpreting things that we already know, that we've already seen. And, uh, you know, maybe it's from hundreds of years ago that we're reinterpreting it in, into uh, today's term, terminologies. That's fine. You're reinterpreting it and you're combining the best elements or maybe you take the worst elements and put it together and it comes out working perfectly. Give it a shot for yourself. Another point is uh, to consider is uh, embracing diversity uh, in mediums. You don't necessarily have to go like me. I'm a writer. I don't necessarily have to go with the written word. I can do music uh, with it. I can do video with it. I can do paintings with it. Um, I'm again, I'm limited by my imagination. So, you know, maybe I take the words and, um, you know, take, you know, do some abstract stuff with the music and throw it on a canvas. Who knows? But see if you can't, uh, you know, take that inspiration. Maybe it's a painting and then you turn it into a dance. See what works for you. Um, you're going to be another point to consider is you're going to be learning from your fellow artists. You're going to be learning from the people that inspire you. Isn't that, you know, what we want, really want to do. We want to take from that inspiration uh, a lesson of whatever it is that inspired us, you know, what, whatever technique or what have you, whatever idea we want to learn from our fellow artists. That way we can understand them more deeply. And last point is staying relevant in a digital age. When we look at chat GPT, um, look at artificial intelligence, it's scraping the internet for all these images, for all these ideas, for all these papers, and it's throwing it back at us. Well, if we don't evolve with it, if we aren't on top of it, it's going to bypass us and then we'll be, you know, <laughs> up the river without a paddle. Uh, so to speak. So we need to, you know, keep abreast of what's going on in the world that, you know, in whatever discipline that we're in. And, you know, one of the easiest way to do that is, you know, digitally, but um, it helps us find these other inspirations. The digital world isn't necessarily a bad thing if we use it as a tool for good. So it's going to help us stay relevant in this digital age because there's a lot of stuff that's out there and again nothing new underneath the sun but the thing that's new is your perspective on it and then how you present it out into the world give it a shot for yourself all right well it's uh, that time in the show here where i let you get back to the rest of your day and uh, again i want to say happy new year uh, to everyone out there listening um 2024 is going to be a wonderful year. I just know it. Um, so this is either you can consider it the last episode of 2023 or the first episode of 2024, however you're listening to it. Um, but uh, a couple of things before we go is um, I really want to know uh, how you're enjoying the show and um, you know how to make it a five-star podcast for you. You can reach out to me timothy at createartpodcast.com and uh you know again tell me what's going to make it a five-star show for you if it's not a five-star show right now i want to know hey is the music too loud am i too loud am i not talking about the topics you want to hear about uh, in 2024 after we get done with kickstart creativity um we're going to have some uh, really interesting episodes and uh Again, I am changing what I had initially planned, just like I did in 2022 to 2023. Uh, I'm changing around what I'm doing here a little bit here for 2024. So definitely uh, would like your input on that, uh, what you would like to hear. And feel free to share this with a friend. You know, if you have an artist friend that is having, you know, some troubles with their inspiration, with their creativity, then by all means pass this uh, podcast on to them and uh, let them know. Uh, but I want this podcast to be the place that you go to for inspiration, for encouragement, 
um, and, you know, to, you know, build a community and share with others. So again, you can email me, Timothy at createartpodcast.com for that. I do run a uh, newsletter. It comes out once a month and it's aptly titled Create Art Podcast uh, Newsletter. And uh, you can find that at Timothy Bryan, that's B R I E N dot Substack dot com. And every month I put in a couple of ideas for projects that you can do. And then I let you know uh, the different things that I'm doing, uh, different episodes that I'm participating in. Uh, I also do run a, a monthly uh, podcast meetup here in Fredericksburg. So. Um, that, that'll that be right there for you. So definitely check that out uh, for the uh, newsletter. Just go, comes out once a month. I don't want to jam up your email inbox. So there you go with that. Um, speaking about sharing, I also run uh, another podcast. It's called Find a Podcast About. And that's where I help you, um, you know, it, outsmart the algorithm and find your next binge worthy podcast. You can find it at find a podcast about dot X, Y, Z. And this is all part of the TKB studios, which I'm going to be developing more and more throughout 2024. And that's going to be my network kind of thing for all three of my shows, which, you know, the third show is, uh, cannabis stories. Uh, and that's where I, uh, share stories of uh, folks that have uh, tried the Lord's lettuce, as uh, they like to say, and, uh, you know, positive stories about that. And you can find that one at uh, cannabisstories.podbean.com. And, uh, you know, it's it, it's a fun podcast. Um, you know, take a listen to it and uh, see if it's right up your alley. I try to make it a lot of fun because that's, you know, what art is all about is having a lot of fun. All right, I'm going to get you back on your day. So happy new year uh, to, uh, to all of you out there. Um, looking forward to 2024. But at this time, I want you to tame that inner critic. Create more than you consume. Go out there and make some art for somebody you love, especially in this new year. Make it for yourself. Talk to you next time. 